and angel fly within my life beside me and all I do. Hi everyone and welcome to your weekly angel reading for November 21st through to the 27th. I'm going to be using Doreen Virtue's Healing with the Angels cards this week. So let's see what they have to say for us, first of all, for Monday and Tuesday. All right, beautiful card. Harmony. This reminds me of Archangel Gabriel, this card, um, because of the beautiful copper yellow light around this angel. And Gabriel is also really wonderful for helping us to communicate peacefully and confidently, helping us to be assertive. And also, he or she, I say he or she because some people will associate Gabriel as male and some people will see her as female. And honestly, the angels don't have gender in the way that we have it. So honestly, it doesn't matter. But anyway, Gabriel is beautiful for helping us to um, really communicate our message and be a messenger in the world, whether that be through music or singing or speaking or writing, whatever it is. And so um, I hear, yes, okay, it's, it's, it's um, like the card says, really important that we, we um, surround ourselves with what is harmonious to us, really focusing on harmony. But I also hear it's really important for us to share in whatever ways we are guided to right now, to share um, a message, to share what we're passionate about, to use our um, energy, our perhaps our frustration, our strength, our passion to make a difference in the world. Because as I've often said, we are all instruments of the divine and we all have a unique gift to share that is a unique part of the orchestra, which is the whole universe. So sing your song, dance your dance, write your story, whatever it is, but do share this week. Okay, so here is the card for uh, Wednesday, Thursday. Interesting. Um, I, I did not pull these cards for me. I pulled these cards for everyone, but as you can tell, I still have um, some throat and cold issues going on and I'm due to travel this week. So I've been doing a lot of surrendering and releasing. And it is coming to the end of a very intense year. This is all about endings this year. And so lots of people, myself included, have been through a lot of changes that haven't always been comfortable. However, we really are at the kind of last stages, if you like, of releasing the old so we can step into the new. Now, we say this every time, uh, you know, the end of the year comes around, but this is particularly apparent right now um, because we are literally at the end of a cycle, a nine-year cycle, and next year, 2017, is a new beginning. So if you feel like there are still emotions really running high, old patterns coming up, fears, you know, things to say goodbye to people, whatever it is, just let go because it's a lot easier if you actually just surrender to what is happening as well as really taking care of yourself while that happens, of course, because we want to be kind to ourselves and really honor our bodies, our emotions, and whatever the process is for us. Okay, so now Friday, look at this. Interesting, the angels definitely heard me this week. Uh, it's body care. So again, as, as I said, as we release, as we really set the intention to let go of everything that doesn't serve us, we must take care of our bodies. You know, we are spiritual beings, but we are having a human experience and our bodies are our vessels where we get to show up in the world, where we do get to share. And of course, the beginning of the week was talking about us sharing. So if we want to share, if we want to do the things that we're meant to do, we have to take care of our physical selves so that we can be fully present with others and give. We can't really give 
that much if we don't allow ourselves to receive. So honour your body uh, this weekend. If you need to rest, rest. If you want to exercise, exercise. If you're feeling like a little sluggish, maybe you want to look at how you're treating your body. Are you eating in a way that feels good to you? Whatever it is, as long as you do it without guilt and you do it uh, with the intention to really be kinder to yourself, not harsher to yourself. Body care, caring. Okay, well these uh, messages this week are pretty specific. So it's very important that we uh, just take care of ourselves and know that we're still in quite an intense period, but we are coming into a new beginning. So it's really important that we remember that for every ending, we say hello to a new start. Sending you much, much love and I will speak to you again, probably not next week because I'm traveling. I'm actually going to be in Bucharest, Romania. So it will depend on whether I have any time to share a video with you. But you can keep updated on my Facebook page because I'll still be sharing there and hopefully posting pictures and things from our event. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye bye for now.